This one is called The Moon Fell on Charles Bukowski. I love this piece. Charles Bukowski was out and about, drunk as a skunk. He's wandering around. It was nighttime. He looks up at the moon. He looks at it really intently and he goes, Moon! Moon! You gap tooth motherfucker! Why are you inspiring all these moon poets? All these lousy, lousy moon poets! Everybody's talking about the moon and it's just not good! Why, moon? Why? So the moon, he looks at Charles Bukowski. He looked at him and says, Bukowski, you're worse than I am. You're inspiring all these whiskey fueled poetry, and it's just not any good. All these whiskey poets that think they're so good, but in reality, they're not that good. Also, they all think they're also tough, but they're not that tough, really. Just like you, you are a tough eater. So Charles Bukowski goes at the moon, and he says, Moon! Moon! Fuck you, moon! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! So he look, so John Bukowski, he's just looking, he's ready to fight the moon, he's putting up his dukes, hey, he looks like a complete idiot, the moon looks back at Charles Bukowski and he says, you really want to go at me Bukowski, you really want to take me on, Charles Bukowski says, yes, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, so the moon says, alright, you asked for it, the moon then proceeds, Crash down on Charles Bukowski, instantly crushing him. Bukowski goes, fuck you, moon. The moon then proceeded to crush Charles Bukowski. He also proceeded to crush the earth, killing everybody on it. <laughs> for some reason, for some reason, the moon exploded. So there was no more Moon Eater. Mm. But thankfully, there's no more Charles Bukowski whiskey inspired poetry, and there's no more Moon poems, and for some reason, there's no more Ruby Card poems. <laughs> so I guess, in essence, it was a good day. Thank you.